Lauren Carlini, congratulations on being a 2015 Volleyball Magazine All-America. Thank you, I appreciate it. You know, you're still a junior and you've had this opportunity in each year to try to, I hope and assume, up your game. What did you do this year you think that, that upped your game uh, as a setter? Yeah, I think a lot of it just had to do with um, taking what I learned in my previous years and um, learning what I what I did in the spring and then taking game plans and kind of mashing it all together. And I used to be a setter where I just followed the game plan or um, just did my tendencies, but now I'm breaking away from those tendencies, breaking those habits and being able to read the game a lot better. So I think that's one thing that um, I've done a much better job this year. You know, the, the game has gotten so much quicker, and I think you know you probably have one eye on what Karch and the national team and other mm -hmm. professional teams are doing someday for you. Yeah. Um, do, do you think that's, that, that's here to stay, that the volleyball game at the elite level has become quicker, and what does that mean for a setter? U.S. Team USA have obviously been very effective with using it, and uh, I think it, there's a lot of advantages to it. Um, as a setter, you're going to have to be very accurate. Uh, not a lot of room for air for your hitters, and um, just being able to have high, high contact, high release, and a quick release. So little different things that you need to work on, um, you know, in a system that Wisconsin runs versus Team USA. But again, just practice makes perfect, and a few little changes here and there. You know, a few moments ago you talked about wanting to make sure that you, you, I guess in a sense I heard that as take control of your game a little more. Do you, by the time maybe you're a junior, feel like you don't have to necessarily worry about what they're thinking on the bench, meaning the coaching staff and all, and, and do they give you more, more control now? Yeah, I mean, each year they've given me a little bit more freedom um, with running the offense and making my decisions and being creative. Uh, first year it was, it was very heavy game plan based and um, trying to break my habits that I made from club. And now it's really just, you know, do what you think is best. Um, Run, run the offense that you think is going to give us the best opportunity to win. And, um, of course, they still help me out tremendously, and um, I thank them for that. But, you know, just, just as I get older and become a better leader as well, more freedom, um, more rain. You know, we've talked to a number of middles and outsides, actually, and the opposite, mm -hmm. and, and have almost all of them expressed, gee, I wish at some point I could have been a setter. Do, do you ever hear that? Do you hear that? I do. I do. I think it's kind of like a quarterback position, so people think that's like the spotlight. Um, but I kind of, you know, I feel opposite. I'm like, I want to be a libero. Like, who doesn't want to be a libero? I think defense is so much fun. And finally, we, we mentioned briefly USA. Mm -hmm. um, is that in your plans? Is that in your dreams that once you're done with Wisconsin, or maybe even before, that you, you get a look at mm -hmm. uh, the USA team and, and try out with Karch, perhaps? Oh, yeah, absolutely. That's been on my mind since I was you know, in middle school. And that's always been my goal is to be in the Olympics one day and just to train with Team USA. So um, focus on next year winning a national championship with Wisconsin first and then moving on playing professional and hopefully with Team USA. Lauren Carlini, the setter of the year and the first team All-American for Volleyball Magazine. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you.